Yeah. What a rock show! Wait, oh. it is. Oh no. about <laughs> easy okay we've decided to go and oh no oh, for god is he stuck or is he no he's not he's just stopped to see if they need help we're paul and tan and welcome back to our channel we're continuing on our adventure of a lifetime on a trip around oz in our troopy simba this week is part two of a three-part series on Fraser Island. If you haven't seen our trip from the beginning, please jump on board and join us. If you're enjoying our content, please comment, like, and hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Good morning. Um, se second day on Fraser Island. Um, we're still finding the lay of the land. <laughs> Yesterday was uh, an education, wasn't it? Everything here relies on tides and you got to kind of plan stuff. So the first thing we're doing today is we are um, having a look at, we stayed at Central Station Campground last night. This is actually Central Station um, picnic area, day use area but we think it was an old mill town or something. So we're gonna go and explore it. Talks a lot about the tides and, oh, and day trips to go. All right, so we'll tune in in a minute. So it once was a forestry camp in 1920. It's great how they've kept it all preserved. This out. This is one of the Cory Pines, which are what all the big trees are around here. Look at this, look up the tree, all the way up. That is crazy. That one's just hanging on by the skin of its teeth. Incredible. is well hidden hey yep. well, we're normally pretty good at finding our way around but this place is a bit of a mystery it's beautiful though clear water in there with a sand bottom on it. <gasps> this place is crazy nice. Look through there. You can't see it properly on the camera. It does just looks like a sand bank, but that's actually clear water flowing through. It gets deeper as you go around further deep into it.
wombat holes here. I don't think this rubber matting is doing very much. <laughs> We just arrived at Lake Berebine after a nice meander through the forest. So Lake Mackenzie is the is the hot spot for swimmers. Yet this place is equally as good. It's not as blue, but it's um, clear as, and I'm sure it's swimmable. And there's nobody here, look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so pretty. Don't you reckon with the reeds in the water, it looks so nice. I got the drone up and can't understand why there wasn't more people there. It's spectacular place, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, you can get definitely get in the water and have a swim. I think um, the other one, Lake Mackenzie, because it drops off and becomes swimmable a lot closer to shore. Yeah, maybe. That one there, you've got to... Um... Paddle out a fair way to get to the deep, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I don't know, but it was definitely worth um, stopping in at and to be honest, knowing how we are, we prefer less crowds, so that was good. And I got the drone up, so I should get some decent footage from that. So i um, not sure where we're heading next, but we're still on the, what's it called, the Lakes, Southern Lakes Drive or something. So um, yeah, we'll keep you posted. is part of the Great Sandy Walk also. So there's a hikers camp here. This looks nice. Oh, and a fenced off picnic area so no little dingoes can come and get me. Hey, hey. We are at Lake Bumanjan. I don't know if I'm saying that right either, but I'm trying. Um, this one is huge. A um, bit of a walk track down to it. It's similar to the other two from what we can see so far. There's a real sandy edge to it, but maybe that's around the other side. Ooh. Looks like a bit of a bit of a walk down there, but it's not too hot today, hey? No, not so It's nice. So we finally, um, finally stopped getting bitten by Mickey's so, though, hey? <laughs> it's taken us like three or four weeks of getting bitten to stop get and I think it's because we've come further down the coast yeah, but yeah. Uh, we were both absolutely covered in them for the first three weeks of the trip to the point where you just want to scratch all your skin off um, I mean it was it wasn't so much mosquitoes it was those midges but um, we've seen a few people lately that have also um, had the same problem so it's not just us but um, God, they're bad, those midges. You don't see them at all, they're tiny. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's got a lovely color. Okay, so this is not swimmable, but it does have that sandy edge on it over oh, the other side. Oh, it's not like beachy. Like you wouldn't come down here for a swim, I don't think, would you? Would you go in here? Oh, you could. Oh. 
I guess he could. It's just not as inviting. No. It's, not, it's pretty though. The colour's beautiful. flash in the water but the beach looks amazing so we have arrived at Dilly village We've come down the southern central lakes um, southern central lakes scenic route whoa um, and this is um, gonna take us up the east coast we're gonna find a camp spot up the east side yeah I think that's where we're going Okay, so you wouldn't want to be a tourist on that vehicle. Um, so rubbish truck. Anyway, here we go. The highway of beach ahead of us. Far out, it is a car. Wow, watch it. This, this orange car stopped. It's one of those fancy... It's not one of those orange it is. 80s, is it? It is. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Shit. Hope everyone's okay. In our little bit of a predicament because we're at Yurong and we've just seen a car, not a car roll over, but the remnants of a car roll over that's just happened. So that's a bit ugh. And then we want to turn off at Yurong and someone's bogged in the track to get in. So we're kind of thinking, okay, what do we do now? Hmm. I don't think they look like they were well and truly entrenched. No, they were max tracking and all the rest of it, so they'll they'll get out. But how do we get around them? I think we turn around and we just wait and see what happens because yeah and there's a plane on the beach further up so it's all happening here on Fraser Island East Beach keep you posted okay we've decided to go and oh no oh, for God's is he stuck or is he no he's not he's just stopped to see if they need help God. <laughs> it's a rock show this joint, eh? He's out. Alright, are we going? Mm -hmm. We made it. We made it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> what a rock show! We made it anyway, so we're going to go to the bakery as a reward. Do we think? Eli Creek, in case you haven't gathered that. So 
you can walk or you can float through here. So it's a similar setup to that creek that we were at earlier today, except it's deeper, it's fresh water. It comes from one of the lakes. This, um, there's actually some information that I read about it that said the number of litres of water that pour through this every day, it's quite astounding. So it comes from a rainwater catchment lake, which they all are here, aren't they? Mm. Um, yeah, and flows through here and probably the most popular spot on the whole island. So we weren't going to come, but you know, it's a warm day and the water looks nice, eh? It looks really nice. So we're going to get in, cool off, and our campground for tonight's not too far from here. So bearing in mind, you've got to be aware of the tides as well because, yeah, it's all, everything's to do with the tides here. So here we go. It's freezing, it's freezing and refreshing, but yeah, good, we'll take it. Yeah, I'm actually sitting down right now, so it's pretty shallow, but yeah, so nice. This is our second time around because we didn't take the GoPro the first time. against the current. the Mahino wreck. Um, we went and saw it yesterday because we have a rush so we're gonna have another look at it today. It's just in the distance. How's this for a camp spot? We are in zone six in one of the camping grounds um, on the east side of Fraser Island. Campgrounds are really cheap. It's like $14 per night for two people. So no complaints. Um, this is a beautiful camp spot. And look at look where we are. I mean, absolutely. It would be pick of the bunch, I reckon. We're behind a little dune. Um, and it's there's a bit of grass which is a bonus so yeah it's pretty great actually um 
we are in a zone where the dingoes roam free so we're not in a fenced area like we were last night um, at central station um, so paul's cooking dinner now before the sun goes down just in case any of the uh, local dingoes come out and get get a bit hungry so um yeah the tide's coming in so there shouldn't be too much traffic on the beach right now because you're not supposed to go within two to two and a half hours of the t low tide which that's about now so it'll be coming in pretty quickly i think um obviously it doesn't come up this far but that means that no more people will come in the rest of the campground i don't know looks a bit sketchy um we we actually came up here and thought what and then we looked to the left and thought that's actually the rest of the campground it's all over the place but there are some people staying in the other side so um i'll just walk you around but it's fantastic it's so quiet and we've got grass i'm really excited about that <laughs> So yeah, there's a bunch of tents up in that section. We haven't seen a soul all afternoon. We got in here about two o'clock. We haven't seen anyone. So hopefully it's going to be a quiet night, just the sound of the waves. But Paul's just cooking up something gourmet, as always. Um, oh, yes. Looking forward to that. There's still a couple of people driving up and down the beach. I think they're risking it a bit. I mean, the tide's definitely coming in. That looks pretty nice. Any um, special tips from the chef? No, I don't know. No, just... Look, it's just my staple, really. Yeah, can't really go wrong. I love these little chippy things. A yeah. bit of garlic butter. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, Me, I'll just have a plate of coleslaw with it, but that's yeah. okay. Delish. We've got our uh, dingo stick. <laughs> so yeah, so today we were um, out. We went and looked at one of the um, I don't know what do you call it. Um, Central <laughs> Station uh, uh, Creek. No. Yeah, but it's like a it's a, a day a day area a day area near the campground we were at Central Station and there was a there was a box with like P, PVC pipe in it and it was all like in little sections and it said um, please return your sticks and they they're called dingo sticks so because there's so many of them around um, yeah apparently you have to have a dingo stick so we've got some dingo sticks just in case tonight as i said this is not a fenced area so they may be some visitors so we, that's why we thought we'd get on with dinner a bit early before it gets dark because then it gets a bit spooky so see eyes see eyes in the trees <laughs> see eyes up there you've yeah. got a vivid imagination you i do i do um but yeah you never know but nice this is our spot it's pretty cool We are at, in zone six of Gowrie slash Fraser Island um, campground. We drove up and down the beach the last couple of days and we decided, to... actually, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Let's start again. Thanks again for watching and supporting our channel and don't forget to tune in next week for our final vlog from Fraser. Please like, share and subscribe to keep up with our Big Oz adventures. If you're keen to watch some of our other trip videos, here's some links. Thanks again and see you all next week. Cheers! Mm -hmm.